I lost my entire family. Right here, in this spot. I will never wake up and see my children again. That grieving mom lost her three children in a car crash. The youngest, just one year old, her own mother also killed. Why troopers say a teenager who caused the crash should have never been behind the wheel. Good evening. This is News 6 at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. Matt Austin is off. The crash happened last night at Laurel Avenue and San Miguel Road. Troopers say the 15-year-old driver sped through a stop sign and slammed into the SUV, carrying the three children and their grandparents. News 6 Troy Campbell is just back after a vigil for the victims, and that's where he spoke with that grieving mom tonight. Can't imagine how emotional it was out there. It was extremely emotional, Lisa, as you can imagine. We went to that vigil. We spoke with the mother there this evening. It was very emotional, this vigil that is starting to form at that crash scene. The mother telling us tonight that speeding and people running stop signs in her community is a well-known problem. I'm dying inside. I don't get to see my children anymore. I don't get to see my mother anymore. <laughs> Sabrina Hernandez says on Sunday evening, she was anxiously waiting for her mother to return with her three young children, looking forward to the day off of school for Labor Day Monday. My son called me and said, Mommy, we're 15 minutes away. And I said, OK, I'll see you in a bit. I love you. And he said, I love you, too. And I'm sitting on the couch waiting, and after like 30 minutes, and I'm still hearing sirens and stuff, I'm thinking to myself, like, they were supposed to be here. Hernandez says she went to see what was going on as she continued to hear sirens. And I started getting this gut feeling like something was wrong. I got into my car, and I literally followed the helicopter here. Florida Highway Patrol says Hernandez's three children, ages 1, 9, and 11, and her 50-year-old mother were killed when their vehicle was struck at the corner of San Miguel Street and Laurel Avenue in Point Siena just before 7 p.m. Sunday evening. Troopers say a 15-year-old was speeding and driving illegally with several other teens in the car when he ran a stop sign and hit the family's vehicle. The crash scene still filled with debris 24 hours later. That's my mom's scene. I'm not going to stop until I get justice for my family because the same way he, he went ahead and ate the stop sign and killed my family, he still got to wake up today and my family did it. Hernandez says speeding and drivers failing to stop at marked intersections is an ongoing problem that she and everyone in the area is well aware of. Are we not worth it in Pontiana? Do we count at all? Like, what is the difference that you can go into another town and there's cops everywhere? Hernandez says her father, who was also in the vehicle at the time of the crash, is in serious condition at the hospital. Troopers tell us the 15-year-old driver also suffered serious injuries. According to the state's website, a 15-year-old with a learner's permit must have someone at least 21 years old in the car at all times. As of now, there have been no arrests in this case. Lisa? 